Hey guys, today I want us to analyze USDCHF. I think I have been asked so many times to do analysis on USDCHF to share my thoughts. So before even I do this video or you watch to complete, let me know what do you think on USDCHF? Do you think it will buy? Do you think it will sell? What are your reasons? And also if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, my goal is to hit 100K subscribers before the end of this year. So help me to do that so that we can still and uh, you can motiv motivate me to keep teaching you. So USDCHF, uh, I was checking from top-down analysis on the monthly time frame, And um, according to the monthly price action, according to the monthly uh, price action, the market has a very big bullish candle. That's momentum candle. So buyers last month, they were so strong. According to the pattern, uh, we can't see it's a double bottom because the this zone has been tested so many times. So we don't speak of a double bottom if an area have been tested so many times. So the even having this temptation of this many times, it means that USDCHF can be selling soon. So it can sell soon. Anytime soon, USDCHF can drop. So what we need to understand when we are trading USDCHF is that the lower time frame and the lower the lower time frame patterns are the ones to guide us. So from the market structure, it's more of a, of a downtrend. Uh, from the price action, we have bullish momentum kind of from the previous month, but the pattern is a ranging market that has been ranging for quite a, some time. So we don't have clarity when we are using monthly and that's why uh, maybe you don't, that's why the questions are coming for me to analyze it for you. When we go to weekly time frame, you can see now the cell is defined, but we can't tell is this a reversal or is it a retracement? So I want you to comment down below. What do you think the market is doing? Is this push, the push above, is it a reversal or is it a retracement? There is a difference between reversal and retracement. And I think that's the next video I will do. Reversal versus retracement. So how do you how do you identify between the two? What's the difference between the two? That's the next lesson. We will do that. So I want you to understand that when the market goes down, it can retrace. And it can retrace to a point the market starts to reverse. So what are the triggers that this market is reversing? And what are the triggers that this is just a retracement? So if it was a retracement, the market would have gave us a double top. Retracement goes to form a double top so that the market can do what? Can go down. But reversal, they go breaking. They break this, this high. This high uh, they break this uh, uh, previous high and they break it. So when the market is going down, it creates low lows and low high. So these are low high between comparing this high and this high, this is lower than this. So when the, the market, the price is coming up, they first break that low high to create a high high. So that's the first thing that the market might be retracing. So that the fact, the fact that this market can retrace is evident enough uh, it, it has broke, it is evidence enough. So we need just to zoom from the weekly because you can't see. From the weekly, I just need to zoom to see what has really happened here. What do you think, guys, has happened? So I, I like analyzing with Oanda. Let's go to Oanda. Ah, what Oanda? FXCM. So USDCHL. FXCM. So we will do both because I've come to realize these brokers, sometimes they print different things. So according to Oanda, the broker Oanda, USDCHF, you be the judge. Do you think it has broken this resistance? Do you think we have the breaking? I want to zoom, to zoom well. So according to Oanda, they have broke and I had to zoom out so that I can see we have a break, meaning that that high has been broken, that low high has been broken, and we have a new high. 
And that is the first red flag that the market wants to reverse. That's the first red flag. Now, if we go to uh, FXCM, let's go to FXCM and we see for FXCM what has happened to that area. For FXCM, you don't even need to zoom a lot. You can see it has broke. So both, both brokers, they are saying the right thing. Both brokers, they are saying the market has broke. So we will use the FXCM. We won't use the OANDA. So let's use the FXCM. So the, the, the thing is, if this was just a reversal, uh, it was just a retracement, there was no need of them breaking. So the fact that they have even broke, it shows us that it shows us that this market is doing what? This market, it might be reversing. Anyway, let's continue. So from the weekly perspective, the big push might not be a retracement, but a reversal. So let's go to daily. So when we go to daily and we try to squeeze the chart to see what is happening, where we have a break, where we have a break, if I go to my left side, there's a zone, there's a resistance that has created a double top. So yes, weekly, we don't have a double top. Monthly, we don't have a double top, but the double top is visible on the daily. So we have a visible double top, even to tell us to sell. It's telling us to sell. So we have a double top, a possible double top, giving us a hands up of sell. Are you following? This analysis, current analysis on USDCHF. And then we have um we have a what? We have a half. Let's see where our half is. Let's see where our half is. This is our half. And the fact that our half we don't have RBS it shows us that there is no lifetime of this cell. The lifetime of this cell is not as strong as you might think. So half we don't have RBS. Again, RBS strategy is taught on my mentorship program and I charge $400. So if you want to know what is RBS, don't comment about it. It is only taught on my to my students. So because we don't have RBS, RBS is the, it's like a signal for you to know if a double bottom will, behave or not so it's something that god gave me this is divine like i think there's no way i would have known if the holy spirit would not have revealed it to me so the failure of not having rbs i don't even have confidence with this cell already i don't have confidence with the cell but anyone who entered this cell with the wbb they entered around here they have already been in profit they already been in profit so they have made how many pips so far they have made 76 pips. So because I'm not comfortable, I'm not comfortable with this double top. And furthermore, the double top has, if you can notice, the double top has created another small double top. Can you see? It has created this small double top. So we have this small double top around here. That's the small double top. And this double top, the neckline happens to be here this is the neckline you can see so the neckline has been broken and let's see if this double top has gone to that distance so if the neckline breaks it has to go to this distance and the um, guaranteed distance is the half guaranteed distance is the what is the half that is the guaranteed so the market might push a little bit up to 90.23 to complete that half. And that's not many pips. That's around 20 pips. So for me, so many things are telling me not to sell. I know many people are on sale because of that double top, because it's visible. Like I have told you, market like shifting patterns. So on the daily, it's a double top, clear double top. But let's shift on the four hour and see what we have. On the four hour, on the four hour, it's not a double top, but a double bottom. The question is, 
Now, which pattern will you analyze? Which pattern will you trade? So this is a double bottom on four. Let's try to see if this double bottom is available on the daily. Is it available on the daily? It is not. So whenever a double top is not available on the daily, it's only one time frame. It's very, very strong. So if at all you want to trade USDCHF, I, I urge you to trade it on the four hour. Why? Because that pattern is only on one time frame. And like we have said, a double bottom can have two, two outcome. It can have how many outcome? Two. And this double bottom has RBS. The double bottom has what? Has RBS, meaning this market can buy and it can support weekly because weekly they broke, there's a resistance they broke. We have RBS on this double bottom. So chances are the double bottom can do what? Can buy. So the double bottom can buy. So we have two chances. If this market buys, this market buys from where it is, buys, break half, buy, break neckline, continue. What do you think, guys, will happen? It will go to there, to that distance. So there's the distance I want to show you. It will go this distance. So I want you, to, after this video, or you post the video and we start analyzing for hour with you guys. It will go this distance. You see, that's the distance the market is going. But the guaranteed take profit is TP. TP3, because TP1 is the neckline, TP3 is the guarantee, TP4 is not guaranteed. So that market, if at all that double bottom does what? If at all that double bottom works. Like that. So it will go to TP1, to TP2. TP1 is the half. TP2 is the neckline. TP3 is the half of the distance. And TP4 is the complete. This is a perfect double top, double bottom. So what makes you think this double bottom, what makes you think this double bottom will eventually do that if we have C, R, B, current resistance break? If we have CRB, we have an entry. So CRB is around this area. So if we have this CRB, the market will break. Or even we point out on this two. So you can have two because that's an in, like a small, small candle. You can have that. So these two area, if they break, you are going to have. If half breaks, you're going to neckline. But, and I'm saying but, the same pattern can give us a cup and handle. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful trading around this area. So this buy will be accurate if it breaks half. But because it has not broke half, be careful trading it at the beginning stages. So we have a cup and handle that can form. Either the market can reach here half of the quarter or half. And guess what? If the cup and handle breaks out, it will go this distance. I hope, guys, I have answered your question on USDCHF. That's why I tell people, don't be biased. Hey, I want to buy. Oh, I want to sell. React. Do not predict, but react to the market. The minute the market gives you an entry, just go for it. So TP1 is guaranteed. TP2 is not. So you can see TP1, it will be almost nearing the half of the other double top on the daily. So basically, that's what we have on USDCHF. I hope I have helped you. I hope it is now clear that the market, at this moment, there's nothing you can do. We have to wait. Either the market breaks down and there's, there's more to... If the market breaks down, they will be supporting daily. If they break up, they will be supporting weekly. So they don't have anything to lose. If at all they break up or down, there's the time frame they are supporting. So your work as a trader, as a retail trader is to wait. 
Thank you so much, guys. I hope this one has helped you. USDCHF has have added to watch list, analyze like I have done, then wait, have patience. Thank you and I love you.